hello guys this is your program again shake uh, to, as we go on with the calculator program so I hope that you have this because the last time I took out the video was short I stopped it so I uh, all you have to do is just make sure you have all these buttons uh, however you choose to line them up is your choice uh, this is a text box and everything else is buttons now what we're gonna we will do is uh, is to double click on this on every buttons to make sure that it responds when it clicks. So when you double click, you should see a function declare. In this case, button one that clicks. So you can double click all of them, all of the buttons, so on. So. this is the equal button so let me just increase this font since uh, uh, to all right so the first thing we will do this is button one so uh, It depends however you want to do it. Okay, let's say um, Okay, one two three four five you have five buttons here, so When Someone clicks this So we want to make sure we can do it in many ways. So we'll make sure that button one through uh, one two three four five one through five one gets highlighted the other one do not get highlighted so we can create a function called uh, highlight private void highlight uh, <coughs> highlight operation and i so call it switch i so and then Um, all right, we call it, we can make it in a much easier way. So what I will do in this case is I'm going to create another variable called, uh, button operations, right? Then I'm going to make sure I have button one through five. Right. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, I made a mistake here. All right, so we call this button one, right? Button two, button three, button four, button five. So Hope it's okay. Or right, maybe I should declare it inside. Uh, okay, uh, for the initial version uh, operations equal to button. I, so Alright, this is fine. So now, if there is an operation that's being done, all I have to do is just, um, uh, all I have to do is, so if it's button 1, 
so whatever we're gonna send if button one is means button zero so what we'll do is say operations um, i dax dark back color is equal to color dark red right now everything else i don't know what color is this uh, okay we can call it white whatever okay now now the rest of the buttons we say for int i equals zero i less than operations the client plus plus i so we change this one to j because uh, I say if i not equal to j right operations j uh, operations uh, i equal to dark black color equal color dark white right so we just did something here momentum so what we say what we do here we just call highlight operation button one is zero highlight operation button two is one uh, up to five I think so highlight operation button two because we're dealing with an array so it's always one less so three and then four and then we run to see what happens all right so when we when i click one one of these operations one is highlighted the uh, other ones uh not i left into so the next thing we want to do is uh, we are going to make sure that every time we click on the other buttons we display we append uh, what i call like appending we up we append the digit so if it's six the button six is one this is button six so button six is one so again uh, you can name the buttons we could have called this one instead of button c we could have named it one c sharp allows you that but i just let it go like that the default naming but it makes more sense to name it whatever you want to name it so what we will do here we're just going to do text box stack append text we're going to append one okay maybe it takes a string all right okay so now that's what we're going to do we're going to append for everything else so this one we will, we will append two all right you can do the rest until uh, next time you can append the rest just to save uh, to make the video short so do the rest finish the rest append until nine until zero and so on okay all right see you until next time